Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude, and welcome to another Pokemon Go guide. This one on the newly released Pokemon, Banette. Now, it came out in the first wave of the third gen Pokemon, because we're getting all these new third gen ghosts during the Halloween event. And they said, Niantic being they, that we're going to be getting more third gen Pokemon as early as December. Are we going to get more all at once? I literally have no idea but right now let's talk about Bennett first and foremost Bennett is a straight-up ghost that means his type chart is well the same as all other straight-up ghost types he resists bug he is immune to normal which means he takes 0.51 percent so about half damage from all normal type attacks he is weak to dark and ghost also immune to fighting and resists poison so not really a lot to go off of as far as type charts and there are not really a lot of Pokemon in the current meta that even fit these types, uh, except if you count Tyranitar, and, you know, that, that of course you count Tyranitar, they have be ridiculous, he's one of the best attackers in the game, Bite's one of the best attacks in the game, so yeah, you count Tyranitar. If you don't count Tyranitar, I don't really understand why you're watching this video, because you probably don't know anything about Pokemon Go. I don't mean to be rude about it, but Tyranitar is pretty good. But there are not really a lot of Pokemon that fit these types that are well used in the meta. There aren't really very many good ghost types right now. As far as fighting type goes, just pretty much Machamp. Poison types, you don't see any of them. Normal types, just Blissey, but you're not going to use a Bayonet against a Blissey anyway, and most Blisseys now have Dazzling Gleam for Tyranitar. And uh, Bug types, you see a Scizor once in a while, you see a Scyther once in a while if you're me, because I use Scyther. Other than that, Bayonet's type chart is not really conducive to being useful in the meta. Let's run down Bennett's stats real quick. He's got a max CP of only 2,074, which is not that high. But as I try to explain to people, CP is a conglomeration of its stats, and its stats are made up from its base stats from the game. So if you have a Pokemon with one high attack stat, and then low special attack, low defense, low special defense, your CP is going to be low because that takes all of those into consideration. So that being said, he's got a max CP of 2,074. 74, which is good for 131 out of the 386 possible Pokemon. Now I say 386 because there are three Deoxys forms. If we ever get Deoxys, those three forms will all have separate CPs based on their stats and how they're weighed and all that in the Pokemon Go calculations. He's got 218 attack, 127 defense, and 128 stamina. Now, that is not very high, the bottom two numbers, but that top number puts him 55th out of three 186. Bannett's attack makes him 55th out of 386. That is a top percentile right there. That is like top 17 percentile. Bannett can hit hard, and Bannett has the moves to deal damage. We'll get that in just a minuto. Spanish for minutes. Defense, he's 244th out of 386, and stamina, he's 193 out of 386. So, Bannett does not have a lot going for it. Does not have a high CP, does not have a high defense, does not have a high stamina. But what Bayonet does have going for it is that 55th ranked, ranked attack. If you don't count Deoxys and his three form, you take those out because odds are we're not going to get them because Niantic only gave us a few legendaries. Well, that's not true. They gave us the birds, the dogs, and Mewtwo. They didn't give us Mew or Selby or uh, Ho-Oh, so... I'm just kind of spitballing that. Well, if you don't count the 386, because the two Geox formed, then that makes him 53rd out of 384, which will definitely up his value just a little bit. But what can he do with these attacks? Well, first, he's got for quick attacks Hex and Shadow Claw. Both of them stab, and Shadow Claw's true DPS is 17.14, which is significantly higher than Hex. And it is also quite high for just a quick attack. Now we'll go to his charge attacks. We get a little interesting moves here. Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Thunder. Thunder. Now while Thunder has a higher true DPS, its lack of stab and really lack of effectiveness in the current meta is going to hinder it. You see Dragonite's often, so Thunder is not really going to be useful for Dragonite. You see Titar often, so Thunder is going to be the same as Shadow Ball because of Stab. But obviously if you're going to get the Flying type, then Thunder can, you know, you can go for Broke or Thunder. But Shadow Ball is one of the strongest attacks in the game because it is a 2 bar 100 and Bayonet gets Stab on it. But let's talk about Dazzling Gleam for just a moment. One of the biggest attackers, as I mentioned before, and I 
went off on a little tangent on was Dazzling Gleam against Tyranitar. Tyranitar is a rock dark type, which means it is weak to Dazzling Gleam. Now, I don't know about your area of the woods, but in my Pokemon Go vicinity, Blissey have evolved from Zen Headbutt Hyper Beam to Dazzling Gleam because of the sheer amount of Tyranitar in the area. So if you have a Blissey that has Dazzling Gleam and you put it in a gym, there is a legitimate chance that if it is a high enough level, that it is going to take out the Tyranitar because of Dazzling Gleam. Because this game does not have a physical special split like the uh, in-games do, Dazzling Gleam will have the same, uh, I'm going to use the word power here, the same, because both Dazzling Gleam and Shadow Ball use the attack stat. So while Shadow Ball gets stabbed, Tyranitar resists it. So Dazzling Gleam, while having a lower DPS, and not as much power behind it, because of obviously it not having stab, it is definitely worth looking into, because it also hits Dragonite super effectively, while Shadow Ball will not. Something to consider. Now you can get a Bennett by getting 50 Shuppet candies, and then evolving a Shuppet into a Bennett. Shuppet is one of the five Ghost-type Pokemon that are now in the world for Pokemon Go, so go out there, get them. They're everywhere. You can open your game right now. You know what? I'm gonna open my game right now and see if I see any. You're not gonna do that. Because you know what, I live in kind of a uh, kind of a uh, an area that doesn't really have a lot of Pokemon Go. But if I go 400 feet down the road, we are living in Pokemon Go paradise. There's 13 Pokestops half a mile from my house, and you guys don't give a. Sh so Shuppet is now common. There's currently double candy at the time of recording this, and you only need 50 of those candies to get a Bennett. So what are you waiting for? Click like on this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and then go out and get a Shuppet and use Bennett as an attacker. The definition of glass cannon will have just a photo of Bennett. It is the perfect, perfect definition of that. It's hard, not a lot of defense, and then it goes off and when it's done, I don't know, make it some food maybe. Maybe it'll, it'll pour you a beer. I don't know, whatever Bennett does after it's done banging out Pokemon. That was a euphemism, I'm sorry if you're a child.